<laughs> All right, so I wanted to do a quick review of to, some Volvos. I've had the luxury of being able to drive an XC60, an S60 now, now the XC90, and then of course my Volvo XC70 and my wife's XC70. This is a 2015 and a half with the um, T6 Polestar tune and it has pretty much almost every option on it. Um, you know, really good car. I have 183,000 miles on it. Still runs really great. I drive it from here to Vermont, which is, this is Florida, as you can see, um, back to Vermont. For the toolie box, I had the bike rack, and then this is the car we're just kind of borrowing right now. When my wife's car is in the shop, the next C90. Uh, I think it's the mid-tier. It doesn't have the Harman Kardon sound system, but it has most everything else, I think. Um, so, first thing I'll say out the back, night and day. I mean, the this, my XC70 rides really smooth, especially, especially my wife's. My wife's even rides smoother than mine. Granted, I got 183,000 miles on my car. My wife only has 58,000 miles on it. Um, the S60 we had for like two days, would say, was uh, really harsh. Was, I mean, granted, it's supposed to compete with the, the 3 Series and the C-Class and stuff like that. Some more sporty feeling. However, what we didn't like about it, it had the vegan interior. And that wool just, I don't know, just feels weird to me. I don't like the way it feels after being used to leather. Also, a lot of plastic in it. I will say the XC90 has, you know, leather everywhere and stuff like that. That's kind of nice. The XC60 that I had for a little while, um, when, when this car was, was in the shop, uh, was okay. I'm still, I don't know, you just really can't compare them. It's, it's hard to explain without you guys try, trying them. Um, I really wish Volvo would bring back this car. This is probably one of my favorite cars I've ever drove. I mean, I've had Volkswagen Passats, we had the Gold Sport Wagon, um, BMW M3, stuff like that. Out of all the cars I've driven, this has been my most favorite car, and I will continue to work on it and fix it and do whatever. It really hasn't needed much. I think the biggest thing I've done so far on this car was to change the alternator. Um, and I changed it with the lifetime warranty alternator, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, with Volvo's lifetime uh, warranty and replacement, kind of makes more sense. Which is funny because Volvo had actually sent me a thing to, in the email about, oh, your car's got a lot of miles on it. How about time to put it in the pasture and get a new car? Well, why? There's nothing wrong with it. So, anyways, um, we're going to do a quick review of the two cars, interior, exterior, stuff like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and see, give you my final verdict on why I think Volvo should bring back the XC70. Alright, so going to start on the XC90 interior. Um, like I said, really nice compared to that S60. Um, XC60 was pretty decent. I also drove a V90. I meant to mention that. I've, I've done the V90 cross country and a V60 cross country and a regular V60. And I did like the 2018 V60 cross country. And the newer V60 cross countries and V60s are pretty nice. I would, yeah, I would say if you're looking for something that's a people hauler and still can do stuff, I would, would go with one of those or a v, definitely a V90. Um, since they don't make those beautiful wagons anymore but uh, Anyways, um interior layout's really nice intuitive uh, One thing it took me a, a, a minute a minute to figure out was where the auto wiping was so I was like where do, the, do these cars not have auto wipe anymore? It was one of my favorite features of my first XC70 um, and it's this little thing right here you press that And it comes up there on the dash and you can see the, the wipers auto wipe that's something I actually like a lot. Um, so this is a mild hybrid, which I think is kind of stupid because you're just carrying around batteries for no reason at that point. Um, so anyways, typical Volvo, new style shifting, push forward, reverse, um, pull back for drive, push for park, turn to the right to start, turn to the right to stop, has the auto brakes, um, the infotainment system, which works pretty well if you ask me. I don't know why people complain about these things. I have no no problems on it. The Hey Google works well. <laughs> so, um, I don't know why people complain about that too. Hey Google, stop. Shock it right. 
uh, anyways, um, the dash is well, well laid out, the button configuration is look, 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 like really well laid out. Um, this does have the seven passengers, which is there's one row there and another row in the back, and it also has the the kick to um, to uh, open the tailgate. And as you can see, it has the 360 camera. Again, have the auto brake on there. I do like the 360 camera quite a bit um, because, you know, I mean, that's one thing I wish my car had was the 360 camera and the uh, kick to open tailgate. So you can see on that how well that works. What you pull it forward. And what's really cool about this too is that you can actually decide what camera you want to look at precisely um, by just pushing the the, the tab there and you can choose what camera you're viewing seats are, are well plushed comfortable um, definitely uh, definitely enjoy the seats typical wall load comfortable seats that's one thing I will say with the s60 the uh, the seat was still comfortable the seat was still comfortable it's just the material I just I don't like that wool that wool material granted I'm not a wool person to begin with I don't like you know wool that much unless it's like really soft wool um anyways so <clears throat> again um you know these are nice vehicles i would say pretty unpractical for most people though because i mean do you really need a vehicle that sits six feet off the ground you know i mean it's kind of ridiculous like this car it fits in our garage but i have to move the the toolie box because the uh, roof line is so much higher than our XC70, I actually can, and I, so I have it hanging above my wife's car. So when we get done with going to the beach or whatever, um, I just you know pull it off her car because she doesn't like driving around on it like me. I, I leave my toolie box on my car because and when I go to the beach a lot, I go surfing a lot. Plus, we go skiing and snowboarding and whatnot. Um, we're back in Vermont. And uh, so I just, I know it's more of a hassle for me to take it on and off than it is to just leave it on. Um, so this car, I I raised it all the way to the max and it was like literally about that much space between the bottom of the toolie box and, and where the, the, the top of the roof was. So with, with roof rails, it wouldn't fit. So, um, so that's one downside uh, about these vehicles, I would say, probably like one of the biggest downsizes. Again, because you know most people don't don't need to sit that high off the ground. And oh, sorry, let me go right here. Don't lose my train of thought there. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, it's just this doesn't make sense. It's like you know, wagons do everything this does and drive just as well and actually drive better because it's kind of the mixture of the sports, the sportiness of the sports car. So you get slightly better fuel economy. Now that's one thing I will say. I didn't really see a huge difference in fuel economy. Um, <clears throat> driving that S60 and the XC60, oh, even the XC40. My, my friend Christina, she has an XC40 that I helped her buy. And, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. I just, I don't see see the, the reason for it. When, you know, typical wagons just, just work. But... All right, well, I will see you guys later in, in the XC70. So, driving along here. <clears throat> Remember, this car does have the pilot assist. That is a really cool feature, I will say. I, I wish more cars had that because I just watched some idiot in a truck. And of course, there's a dumb Jeep in front of us. Remember, this precious Jeep and this guy in the truck right there decided that he wanted to do 100 miles an hour. And... I wish you know more cars had a ton on this driving because people drive like it like stupid idiots, you know. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's kind of nice because it's able to just go and drive itself in the, along the road and not to worry about other idiots. But um, visibility out of this vehicle is really good um, as far as forward visibility goes. Um, rear visibility on the mirror is kind of so. <laughs> Again, just uh, something that to consider. Like I said, you know, you get the same visibility with the the V series. So I don't know. I mean, it's really worth spending eighty thousand dollars and feel like you're safe, but you're not really because it's like it's just a safe to drive the V ninety. But 
Anyways, all right, well, let's like die. Yeah. All right, just wanted to show you guys how the XT90 barely fits with the toolie box above it. As you can see, like barely a gap. I had to actually slam it against the garage light. Whereas now we're gonna go over to the XC70 mine. Mine's the T6. Sorry, mine's the T6 Polestar, and I'm gonna drive over to the beach with that one. So let's go. Ooh, it's bright out here. As you can see, my daughter's watching a DVD. What? What do, think, what do you think about this car compared to the XC90? What are you talking about? Do you like this car more? Yeah. Okay. Get approved, that's all that matters. Buy an XC70 if you can. The DVD player. <laughs> or, we could, or we could make it with a back seat, a back car, a back, it's a, a taller so that you can have more chairs in case they have more siblings. Yep. So, anyways, you can see the, the layout, very simplistic. Has a waterfall dash. You know what I mean? It has a DVD too, so has, I can watch something. Yep, has a DVD player on both headrests. The dog thing on the back there to keep the dogs out. So, best car ever made. You can see, 108. <laughs> 183,000 miles. Water. Oh, she needs water. Gotta go. All right, so I'm driving the XC90 over to the beach to try something different to see. And first thing I notice right now is that the fuel mileage is horrible. It gets about 10.6 liters per hundred kilometers, which is roughly right at under 20 miles in a, per gallon. Um, my XC70, which is again the T6 Polestar Tune, has a toy box on top of it. I average like 8.5 to 9.2 liters per hundred kilometers, or 23 to 26 miles per gallon. So there's that issue. Um, I'm curious to ask the V90 cross country and the V90 and the V60 and the V60 cross country fare on uh, fuel mileage. But I'm actually kind of surprised, like, you know, this is, you know, 2024, and, man, fuel mileage is pretty bad. I mean, this is also where I think the B5 or B6, one of the two, you know, it's um, But it's a mild hybrid system, so you'd be thinking we get better fuel mileage, but that's what happens when you're lugging around a bunch of batteries for no reason. So, anyways, if you're going to get an XC90, I would definitely recommend getting the T8 recharge. At least that way you're getting benefits of, the, of you know lugging around a bunch of heavy lithium batteries. Other than that, the car's pretty comfortable, you know. Um, pretty relaxing drive. So, at the ways built in here, and so that is kind of I see Apple CarPlay. I do have the autonomous driving working right now. Uh, got the surfboards in the back there, so that's nice. But I don't know. Overall, my impression is. For this kind of money, why not just get the V90? I mean, it does everything this does and then some. So, I would recommend going with the V90 cross country if you want something like this. Just to get a better fuel mileage than one, and just as comfortable. But, all right, so we're gonna go back to the XC70. So what's my final verdict on the XC90? It's, it's okay. I mean, again, like I said, I think the Wagon to States is more than enough for people, especially this one. I still will say this car rides more comfortable than this car. However, I think this car has firmer seats and that's why. Um, so that may be an issue. I will say my favorite feature of this car is the, the kick to close. That is really nice. It has a pull and stuff like that. Um, that's probably the only thing I really would want on that car is the, the kick to close. Other than that, I mean, I love XC70. I'm gonna keep it for as long as I can. Of course, plane going overhead. That's what happens when you're on the direct route of MCO, so Orlando International. But as you can see, I mean, it's literally 
say, I think actually, I think my car's bigger, honestly, because I feel like the surfboards fit better inside. Oh, I will say what is nice is that if, if you do have people sit back here, they have their own vents, you know, so you can put your dogs back here, at least your dogs will be okay. It's like nice and cool. Um, so yeah, other than that, I don't know. I would, I really would consider a V60 or V90 for most people. Hope that helps you guys decide on what kind of vehicle they get from Volvo.